two movies today, back to back. Took a cinematic explosion day, and you know, saw this movie at five, and saw Band Slam right when this movie ended. Went and bought my ticket, went there, you know, hang out in my theater downtown. You know, I'm going back to school soon. Why not take the day off and enjoy some movies? I'm, okay, so the point is, go and watch the Band Slam review after you watch this one. You know the drill. But Panyo, Panyo! Miyazaki, is that his name? Miyazaki. You know, Spirited Away is an awesome movie. I think he directed Kiki's Delivery Service, too. I loved that movie as a kid. I haven't seen it forever, but I loved that movie. There were times in this movie where I'm saying to myself, wow, this is my new favorite movie of the year. I mean, this movie's amazing. It's beautiful to look at. You know, the story is very unique. I am just totally caught up in this world, and it's, a, it's amazing. It's brilliant. And then about like the last 20 minutes was kind of like <laughs> weren't very good. They weren't bad, but they definitely didn't do the rest of the film justice and it brought the movie down. There really isn't much of a payoff in the end. And the conclusion is just kind of simple and doesn't really have much depth to it. In the end, you just gotta go, okay, you know, this movie's just caught up in this world that the director has created, and you know, that's the reason. It really doesn't give any other reason why, you know, there's this man that lives underwater creating these fish with faces. You know, it doesn't really have any reason why. You know, it's a fantasy movie, and I guess that's it. There's no other explanation given at all, which I guess is fine. That's not that big of a deal. You know, it's just frustrating, because some of this movie is so good. I mean, so good. This movie is very perfectly paced, and I was just loving it so much. But, you know, it, then it just kind of weakened, and it, there just wasn't really much to it. And some of it is a little too weird for me. The well, boy basically looks at his mom and goes, Hey, Ponyo's back. My fish turned into a girl. And the mom goes, Oh, that's cool. Dinner time. Those of you who have seen this movie and you're wondering where I think the movie weakened, I would say it's when the boy and Ponyo woke up, see the results of, you know, the storm. Yeah, about like the last 15 or 20 minutes. They weren't all bad, but did, like I said, did not do the rest of the film justice, and it did bring it down because, you know, that's when it should have been getting better. That's when it should have been evolving, and it just really didn't. Still, this is a very beautiful film, very refreshing animation. You know, it's all hand drawn. I love it. You know, some people are going to go, the animation sucks. But that's because now they live in this world of closure from anything different because all we see is now these um, computer animated movies in 3D when I would rather look at this animation. It makes it far more interesting because even if there isn't much of a story going on in the scene, I'm still just totally captivated by this animation. Storytelling is very slow, but I loved it. I loved about every moment of this movie until, like I said, when it starts weakening. It sucks that it grew average, and it really does because this easily could have been a 10 out of 10. Easily. But I'm gonna have to give it an eight and a half. Still think you should give it a chance. I do think there's gonna be a split. I think some people aren't gonna like it because it is different. The storytelling is very unconventional. It definitely takes its time, although it's not a very long movie. And you know, at the very end, on the ending credits, there's a song that was like, Ponyo, Ponyo, Ponyo. Felt like I was five years old. But still, I think it's a really good movie and you should check it out. Eight and a half out of